Honorable Chairpersons, Dr. Dirbil Singh, Dr. Dillo, uh, Dr. Anil. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Dillo, for uh, the nice introduction. Uh, today, first of all, I would like to convey my thanks to Dr. Vijay that he has given me this opportunity to be here and be with you and share my viewpoints on the uh, study management in COVID-19 cases. So today we will be talking about what are the challenges in this situation and what are the standard precautions which we should take and how the dead body should be stored and how, how the post-mortem testing is done. And if we are going to carry out the autopsy, how what precautions we should take and how the environmental cleaning should be done and how the dead body should be disposed of. And if that body is go to some foreign country, what should be done and transportation, how the dead body should be done and how the last rite should be done and how the training of workers should be done. So this is a, this is a big subject, but I think the time given is uh, just 20 minutes. So I will just uh, rush through the things, but we'll show you the main, uh, I will give you the main idea that how this should be done. So we have the challenges that many of these diseases are still under research, especially the long-term people were and are under stress for the infectious stress of the disease. Now this has decreased, but still uh, whenever a case comes, the person is under stress. The evidence about all the aspects of dealing with the dead bodies are not well established and there are resources are less and post-mortem examination were used to be avoided and still it is avoided and gradually people are understanding the disease due to the spread of the knowledge and care is becoming less. And uh, earlier the mass cremation you had seen, uh, especially in the second wave, you can see that how the things were being done at that time. So I am not going into all those details, but this shows the stress to the health workers because these health workers were mainly uh, doing all these rights. And this working usually led to a lot of stress in those situations, and there was nobody around, not a psychiatrist, not anybody. And these were just the colleagues who, who could give the assurance at that time and provide the moral support at that time. And it is not only the health, health workers, but all those involved. Uh, so they were under stress at that time, even in the mass burials. So the postmortem. Testing can decide on after considering the clinical picture of the disease and the guidelines of the government from time to time, these are changing. And if an autopsy not to be performed, then nasopharyngeal specimen uh, should be collected. And if autopsy is swept from the nasopharynx and the lungs and reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction test should be done, that is preferable, but now the rapid test is also being done. And whenever we are dealing with a case of uh, COVID-19, so the hand hygiene should be taken care of and use of personal protective equipment should be there and disinfecting body bags from outside and disinfecting all linens, disinfecting all environmental surfaces and safely handling the shaft. So these should be taken care of. And as far as the hand hygiene is concerned, avoiding unnecessary touching of the services, surfaces, washing hands with soap and water if hands are soiled and alcohol-based hand rub can also be used. After contact with an inanimate object, hand hygiene should be done. It should also be done after removing the gloves and after contact with blood, body fluids, excretions, mucous membrane, non-intact skin, contaminated skin, and wound dressings. And do not wear artificial fingernails or extenders if duties include direct contact with the dead bodies at high risk for infection. And organization policy should be their own wearing of non-natural nails by healthcare personnel who have direct contact with the dead body. This is not especially in India, but in foreign country, this poses a lot of problem. As far as the personal protective equipment, equipment is concerned, all of you know now that this involves aprons, masks, glass, eye wears, head covers, and shoe covers. And this should be discarded before leaving the morsi, avoiding contamination of the skin while removing the kit. So PP kit, the different parts of it, and apron has gone, should be water resistant and gone should also be used when there are chances of contamination of the clothes and skin by blood, body, excretion, and excretion 
should be discarded after attending the body and i should and hygiene should be taken care of after discarding the gown use of glove is recommended when there are chances of contact with blood stool urine mucous membrane non intact skin or contaminated skin or contaminated fomites glove should be changed when caring for the another patient <clears throat> when splashes of blood body fluids secretion and excretion is expected uh, appropriate mask should be there face shield should be used and goggles should be used cough etiquettes and respiratory hygiene should be followed in this disease in the mortuary area as droplet infection can occur face mask and hygiene should should be taken care of note notices at put at various places to take care of these precautions the tissue and non touch receptacle should be provided mouth and nose should always be covered while coughing or sneezing soap should be used provided at places where hand washing facilities are present at other places dispensers with alcohol based hand wash should also be provided a social distance of 3 feet should also be maintained while the epidemic is active the bag should be cleaned with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution body bag can be wrapped in mortuary sheet body bag can be wrapped in a sheet brought by the relatives linen used should be minimally agitated while handling to prevent the spread uh, put in biohazard bag and outer surface clean with sodium hypochlorite solution if laundry sheets are used ensure that they are properly designed maintained and used in a manner to minimize dispersion of aerosols from contaminated laundry all the surfaces can act as for might should be sanitized wherever there are chances of virus being present after the patient has been discharged or, or the dead body has been taken away furniture in the rooms bed tables stools iv stands and fittings of the bathroom doors and handles electrical switches and computers and their attachments stethoscope puffs of the bv operators wheelchairs trolleys and incubators should be disinfected in addition to this the railing office table tops floors and walls should also be disinfected viruses remain active for different periods on these surfaces sops should be developed and followed according to the guidelines from the various agencies sodium hypochlorite or calcium hypochlorite is commonly used sprays and soap loose are used to clean and disinfect and floor should be clean last of all and shower should be hand, handled carefully and these should be disposed of in the shower containers and when the body is to be taken from hospital through the mortuary from the isolation area the body should be transferred to the mortuary as soon as possible all the catheters and inlet tubes should be removed all the wounds should be sealed to with impermeable dressings in addition to using standard safety precautions facial precaution should be used if there is a risk of splashes all body orifices should be plugged relatives should be allowed to see the body with due precautions they should be counseled and their sentiment should be given respect the body should be put in a leak proof body bag the bag should be cleaned with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution sometimes the family members may be in isolation or quarantine and body may have to be stored till the family members can join the funeral dead bodies are to be stored at 4 degree centigrade when the body has been removed chamber door and handle should be cleaned with sodium hypochlorite solution with 1% and cleaning of the mortuary should be done at every step all the employees should follow the standard precautions mentioned family person too need these precautions if they wish to see the body but they should not be allowed to touch the body or kiss the body the body should be stored in a body bag which has been uh, duly disinfected evidence is poor regarding the transmission of the disease while handling the dead bodies or while doing the post mortem examination in a study where dead bodies had a positive test for corona 19 after conducting the autopsy no test were positive on the face shields no test were positive after cleaning and disinfecting of the autopsy table and floor no association was observed of post mortem interval and environmental contamination with this virus it falls in category 3 of the hazardous organisms according to the royal college of pathologists guidelines for the autopsy has been provided by the red cross and the royal college of pathologists some say that autopsy should be avoided in such cases if possible the infection this infection should not be a bar to the collection of evidence during an autopsy and investigation of the death as in a proper manner taking due precautions autopsy should be done in medical legal cases it should be done very carefully to avoid spreading infection amongst the worker those conducting the post mortem examination it should be done in well ventilated rooms before starting the autopsy it should be seen that all the health workers working in the mortuary are protected by using standard energy safety precautions including wearing pp kits 
that tops should be carried out using a minimum number of person who should wear n95 mask or other relevant mask scissor use should be round at it and the blade should be blunt at it so that prick injuries don't occur and needles should not be resheathed as smoking and eating in the mortuary should be avoided double surgical glass and cut through mesh glass should be used few precautions should also be used in the mortuaries standard precautions are taken during autopsy there may not be an increased risk of infection except if the lungs are handled preferably one body cavity should be opened at one time all the procedure which create aerosol should be done with special care while using power saws or while washing the intestines negative pressure should be maintained in the mortuaries in suspected and confirmed cases of sars cov2 vaccine all biosafety measures and infection control process should be followed uh, persons who are collecting it the specimen should follow the isolation precaution guidelines with proper training and surveillance after the autopsy body should be disinfected with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution and placed in a leak proof body bag which could also be disinfected with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution from outside the autopsy table and instrument should also be disinfected so this is a picture of the body bag the body can be given to the police who can hand it over to the relatives after explaining to them all the precautions and the local rules and and instructions of the government should be followed that is taking the dead body should be in a pp kit different strategies have been advised by different guidelines but so far no evidence has been available for an effective strategy and there are such gaps that need to be further evaluated virtual autopsy in this condition has also been advised and the images can help in the diagnosis of the disease and what autopsy can be made to reduce the infection to the forensic pathologist and there will be less exposure in india a case suffering from covid-19 disease of the virtual autopsy has been reported from kota so these are the pictures of the virtual autopsy but as dr harish the sir has said that it is a big cost factor and we are having at very limited places two or three places in india if the embalming is requested there are challenges to embalming in the dead body used used in medical colleges during the covid-19 pandemic routine embalming of the dead body is not recommended center for disease control and prevention says that if standard precautions are taken body can be embalmed without any undue risk body should not be touched and will be it will be helpful so embalming is being done under care humoid transfer of the virus is possible in this disease so the environment must be clean all the instruments should be sterilized after use all the surfaces where the body come into contact should be washed with detergent and then clean with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution mortuary waste should be handled as per the law of the state the request for repatriation is there uh, it is a process of sending human remains from one country to another at the request of the relatives or friends of the deceased uh, identification a death certificate and certificate of dead body free from infection these three things are required for this and in addition to this some countries may have their requirements like embalming of the dead body embalming is not done in many countries in the covid-19 death uh, the best way is to cremate the dead body and take the ashes in an urn as this does not carry infection due to sars cov vaccine and but it may not be preferable in certain religions in those countries where burial is to be done and cremation cannot be done then case to case should be discussed with the concerned governments so again the uh, bodies are being repatriated so precautions for the visitors in the mortuary at least wear a cloth covering the face uh, wash hands with soap and water at least for 20 seconds and scrub the hands with a 70% alcohol based hand rub touching the nose mouth and eyes should be avoided maintain a social distance follow respiratory etiquettes sick person should not come and stay at home person with the reduced immunity and underlying condition should avoid such places workers in the mortuary are at a high risk of contracting this illness worker should be screened for high temperature if a high temperature is found then measures should be taken for the arrangements of testing them sick worker should not be allowed to do the duties there should be a flexibility for the sick leaves identity and isolate the case and when the recovered workers can join the duty a criteria should be developed or sop should be developed for that the workers in the mortuary should take some precaution the ventilation system should be adjusted to allow more fresh air distance between the employees should be increased if possible increase the frequency of cleaning the and disinfection a virtual autopsy should be considered wherever possible vaccination of all the workers should be done on the top priority it is better that person should be put on the mortuary duty only after they are fully vaccinated 
as there are chances of workers getting infected and spreading the disease, they are on the priority list to get vaccination. When the workers at home, preventive measures again are needed. Glass face mask and face shield should be used in such cases. Clothes washed immediately and other clothes worn. Children, people over 60 and immunocompromised people should not come near the body. Others should keep a minimum one meter distance from the body. If the, when the body is to be transported after the top seat, it should be in a leak-proof body bag. Body bag should be disinfected from outside. Body bag disinfected from outside poses no extra danger to the person transporting the body if they are using standard precautions. After the body has been given for cremation, a vehicle should be disinfected. So you can see uh, uh, the way in which uh, conditions the bodies were uh, being transported at that time. It is very important that the healthcare workers should be trained. Uh, those involved in handling the dead bodies an important part of the prevention of the disease and should be given due importance to prevent the spread of the disease. All the members of the staff working in the isolation area, topsy room, involved in the transportation of the dead bodies, working in the crematorium and burial process should be trained trained to use different precautions at different steps to handle the dead body. Religious preachers and person doing the last night should be trained to take standard precautions. Disposal of the dead bodies can be done by a burial according to their religious belief. Face of the deceased can be shown to the relatives by unzipping the body bag. Cremation is a preferred method of disposal of the dead body as it eliminates the chances of spread of the disease. Electric, gas, crematorium, or it can be done in a routine manner. Cremation can be done according to the religious beliefs of the dead person. A religious ritual such as chanting of prayers and sprinkling of water over the body with no touch to the body can be done. Ashes can also be collected and disposed of from the last day, and it doesn't pose additional risk. Number of participants at the cremation ground should be limited by the authorities. After the cremation, hand hygiene is very important for the workers involved with the cremation. If the burial is to be done, relative and friends may see the body after it has been prepared for burial, but no one should touch or kiss the body at this moment. Those who are going to lower the body in grave should wear gloves and masks and should wash their hands with soap and water after uh, doing their job. Burial should be done in airtight coffins. Death should be normal four to six feet deep, preferably the area adjacent to the grave and over the grave uh, should be cemented Im immediately, but now this is not there. After the burial is... Uh, Overhand hygiene is very important, important for the workers involved with the burial. Number of participants at the cremation ground should be limited by the authorities. And I would like to conclude that SARS-CoV-2 vaccine are going to stay in the community and so will be the dead bodies by, infected by this. Forensic pathologists to deal with such bodies in the times to come and big amount of misinformation and even rumors sometime about the management of the dead body is there. Evidence-based information uh, should be used to practice uh, 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 fearlessly. Be updated on the latest scientific information. If an autopsy needed, can be carried out by taking all the precautions. Last rites according to the religious beliefs of the person and precautions for the autopsy and the last rites, checking the spread of the disease and so that there is a dignified farewell from this world. And uh, these are the references which have been used